welcome to a video from the dislifestyle.com new windows 10 build to look at this is 21359 for windows insiders on the dev channel only a few changes with this build really um, first one is news and interest which I showed you last week is actually rolling out to more users so there's news and interest so that's and rolling out to all windows insiders so it's still taking a while but you should see that uh, rolling out now the main change of this build is just one really option is the tick box on the power button to uh, restart apps after signing in so that was already a setting in uh, settings account signing options but that means that uh, when you restart all the, the apps or so UWP apps that were, were open will restart so another change is a feature removal and that is on timeline his timeline is not uh, syncing history across devices um, so you can't you're not going to see your browser history and that kind of thing in here across devices it was a good idea I don't know why they've they've sort of gone off away from that they saying that you can use the history syncing in Microsoft Edge now if you want to look at your history or at OneDrive for your file history <laughs> the ease of access area in settings is now called accessibility which uh, makes sense probably better naming convention and then there's the usual set of fixes they've um, fixed the bug when HDR was turned on they fixed the HDR bug coming out of sleep they fixed some uh, auto HDR settings they fixed the issue with uh, going from previous builds when you after after an up, a build update your profile wasn't correctly brought over and that would sort of make the process restart and they fi so they fixed that they fixed some camera setting issues on arm devices um, they've uh, fixed some check for online updates from Microsoft and some virtual desktop things as well so there's quite a lot of fixes actually with this and they've also fixed the, the virtual GPU um, was broken for Windows and Linux guests there's still some known issues um, build hanging for an extended period of time um, some ARM issues with the Qualcomm graphics some uh, eight, and some auto HDR uh, uh, issues with split screens so that's all the change of this build really it's all just as that option we're on the CO uh, release branch at the moment which means um, I think they're uh, testing this to get ready sort of the stable build for the for the next major update so kind of getting ready to go uh, and getting all the these little changes in before we see some bigger changes when we go back to the RS pre-release well that's that's a theory anyway so like I said they've got the power update App settings and that's the main chain in there. News interest back, which is good to see. So thanks for watching this video. You can see more on the dislifestyle.com. I'm at ISTix on Twitter, and I'll see you on the next one.